I knew it was going to kick in. I was like, what's going on here, Griff Parker? Good, we got it going, baby. Welcome to the Josh Potter Show. It is I, Josh Potter, back with you another week. And boy, oh boy, I'm going to let you know about the tickets I have on sale. I feel embarrassed every time that I do it because they're not for another 500 months away from now. Uh, but pleased to be buying tickets to Soul Joel's in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Two shows happening there, October 20th and 21st. December 1st through 3rd. Yeah, December all the way out there. We're going to get other ones or else I'm going to jump off a building. Beep that if we have to, but I don't think we will. December 1st through 3rd, La Jolla Comedy Store going to be there. And uh, December 23rd through 25th, Christmas time, the literal end of the year. You can find me at Side Splitters in Tampa Bay. In the meantime, I'll be on Twitch. I'm fixing the Los Angeles Angels. And boy, oh boy, am I fixing them. Twitch.tv slash Josh underscore Potter. Also, Instagram at Josh underscore Potter. That's where you can find all the links. Follow along with everything. And... Uh, Hell, I guess that's my new Threads thing, too. I got to chase that dragon now. Threads? Follow me on there, I guess. But anywho, thank you for liking and subscribing. Today we have a wonderful guest. Oh my god, I'm so excited to have him. Please plug everything and anything. It's Justin Martindale, everybody. Yay. Hooray. Thank you. It's good to be back. It's great to have you back. Mm -hmm. Please plug things. Tell oh, us. plug things. Sorry. Yes. Um, I will be uh, at Cobbs in San Francisco on July 19th. That's this month. Yes, congrats. Um, yes, thank <laughs> you so much. Uh, also be in Montreal for the Just for Last Festival the 25th of July. And then I'm in the Irvine Improv, I think, the first weekend in August. Ooh. And then my podcast, yes, Just please. Saying, which I have to have you on sometime. I'd please. love to do that. It's out of the Comedy Store, too, right? Yeah, it the is. The Comedy Store Studios. Comedy Store Studios, yes. We, and we got a nice little upgrade. Oh. Because Daddy's killing it over there. So I was like, oh, I'm little bringing in revenue design? now. I'm saving the store. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, though. I'd love to do <laughs> yeah, it sometime. Please. Let me know. Yeah. Please. Maybe December if you're available. Yeah, no, I got okay. I I mean, I, you heard my calendar wide open for a couple of months. Hopefully we're going to be filling that in. I'm going to just keep belaboring the point week after week yeah. until it gets filled. <laughs> and then, yeah, threads as well. I, I, I'm on it. Threads. I don't know what I how I feel about threads. I'm copying and pasting right now. And I go, now I got to do nine more clicks with my finger. This is awful. Yeah. So far, I, I hate it. Yeah. Why, world? Why? Can't you just come to the shows? Uh, <laughs> Please? Yeah. <laughs> Please just come? Yeah. Why don't I have to post everything? <laughs> just come. I have to put it on this. I have to put it on that. Uh, I have to put it on that. They still sometimes don't come. Oh, thank you for the ones that come. I appreciate it. Justin. Yes. Hell of a week to have you here. Yeah. Because I'll tell you what, we planned this a while ago. It wasn't, um, you know. It wasn't last minute, but this just happened, uh -huh. and you're the best person to have here. Okay. What are your thoughts on this Britney Spears oh, versus Wemby situation? <clears throat> it's so funny. I've been asked Our this worlds collide. Three times today. Today? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to get this podcast out before those other No, jokes. this is great. I mean, I feel, first of all- uh, as somebody from San Antonio, um, mm, this was a San an Antonio spur. Angle. Yes, it was. Um, who's seven five? He's tall. He's seven five. At catch in Vegas at the Aria, going to get a dinner reservation, and then you have a loose, feral Britney Spears running towards you with hair extensions coming out, Those cowboy eyes. boots on. Looks like a typical. Vegas patron. Yes. Right? Just like those coming towards eyes. you. Mm -hmm. My God, those eyes. Those eyes. Don't look at her eyes. Whatever you do, Jim, like don't look at her eyes. Those eyes. And uh, she grabs him because she's a fan. Her husband, Sam, is there. You know, where's their security? And then grabs him. And then it's turned out that the uh, security guard had swatted her hand. And she hit herself one more time in the face. <laughs> so now that's the thing I was confused about. Yes. Here's the thing. I'm uh, I'm in a bit of a quagmire of my own brain lately. Great where word. I can't tell what's real, what's mm -hmm. not real. So mm -hmm. I had seen, you know, this had gone down. And then I thought, well, I'll wait till the details come out. And then one of the details is she slapped herself in the face. And yeah. I go, no, nah, I'm not going to buy it here. 
Mm-hmm. I'm not going to buy it, but you just verified it. That's, and I wasn't well, sure. I think that's what it turned into. And of course, well, first. And no, yes, it's in the tape. Right? It is Do we in have the tape. The tape? Yeah, yeah, that's they, what I'm looking for. Real they quick. show her. Yeah. And of course, what people are failing to uh, bring up is that she also ran up to him screaming in a Britney Spears British accent. Oh, no. British Britney. Which if Britney's coming towards you screaming British, um, I think all swats are off, you know, swat away. Brittany, that's yes. everyone already is saying you're derivative of Madonna. You didn't do the British accent in your old age. No, here we go. And okay, seven foot five. Yeah. So is this where she gets hit? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. All right. Slow, so we're just slow it down. for those who are listening at home. We are watching what is, I believe, a cell phone footage. Yeah, the best, the best kind. Oh, I spared up when they do. Here we go. That's all right. And it's outside of Catch in what casino did you say? It was? Aria. The Aria. Mm-hmm. Yes, I've been. Lovely rooms. They. Oh, my pair of glasses is still in one of them. My old pair. Here she is. Anyway, walking away. This is post. Oh, there's the. Oh, slap. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I who's see. holding her? By the way, on the right. No one. It holding like her. A, it looked like she was with somebody, she and they were unleashed. like walking. Well, she her. ran towards. I would be surprised. Oh, she's, her wa- husband she's walking up behind this. Him. <laughs> um, and Wembenyama is the tall man. Wembenyama, yeah. which <laughs> no, I, I, yes. I've yeah, been yeah, calling yeah. him Wet Banana the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, and and of course she's like, "This is fucking America, you not." And I'm like, "Yeah, that sounds like a loose woman in Vegas to me." Yeah, no, a hundred percent. So there, she definitely, if you're just doing a quick uh-huh, mm-hmm. like glance at it, you're, you're not like, gonna go Vegas oh, that's, trash. And it's weird too because she had such a good residency there. She had mm. an amazing show there. I mean, it was all right, but um, <laughs> she had a residency there, and then it's like, wow, how the mighty have fallen. It's very giving me Bryce Dallas Howard and Nosedive Black Mirror vibes. Ooh, good like reference. When, like when you have it all, and then all of a sudden you're just getting you're hitting yourself in the face outside of catch. Oh, yeah. yeah. So she, but I she, feel bad because the San Antonio Spurs, like, they're great guys. I mean, I grew up with them, not like with them, but like grew up watching them, like David Robinson and Tim Duncan and all those guys. Are well, just, they're not there anymore. No, I know. That's why. <laughs> but they we got were, a like, new batch, and I don't know how they are. To they be were quite good honest. guys, you know? Yeah, so sure. it just has that kind of legacy. And like, the, the who's the coach? Um, Popovich. Popovich, yeah. Good yeah, he's guy. He's got a good legacy. Very good guy. And I think they told uh, Wet Banana to, um, <laughs> to kind of not apologize, but to kind of like lay low and well i think he is the type of guy bad. that is like a lay low type happening. anyway yeah. he's yeah. you know he didn't do anything other than exist in that situation he literally went to the table yeah he kept walking yeah. to the reservation he didn't turn around i think afterwards they're like holy shit that wasn't some like pamela from tampa that was like that was britney spears and you're like how do i tell the difference yeah the fact that uh you know he had nothing really to do with it at all. It's just kind of like wind was blowing behind him. Yeah. And the fact that he had to speak on it, though. And he's not even yeah. like, he's what? Uh, 19? 20, 19, 20 yeah. years old. And uh, he had the worst game, though. And people are like. Like what? Game? He played his first summer league game. This was supposed to be his big coming out party. Oh, he was he on like, national TV. Oh, did he? It was like he didn't even know what basketball was. Well, maybe this was all contrived. Because where was Britney Spears security? That's what I want to know. Was she just loose in the casino? They're probably. probably on the radio somewhere. She's like, loose in a Target half the time. We got a four two two. We can't find her. She's yeah. gone again. You know what I mean? She's uh, just wandering around. Just uh, it's sad. So now it looks like uh, he's his uh, summer league time has officially come to the end. At catch. That's well, not, I mean, that I, tracks. They're probably gonna just bench him for a little while just to be like, <laughs> we got to get this kid out of the. <laughs> Otherwise, our first round draft pick is going to be a massive bust let's, because he's going to be a mental case. So let's just uh, let's go give this kid some red tide oysters. Yeah, let's put him. <laughs> <laughs> Call it a day. Yeah, let's put him on the beach for a couple of days. <laughs> but it's it, that does suck that that happened to him. And he's probably really flustered. He's from a foreign land. I don't know which one. I'm not going to venture to guess. But uh, he's in America, new to America, and he's under the microscope. And Britney Spears comes out of nowhere, out of orbit. See, this is, this is great insight. This is why I feel like ESPN should call you, Justin, and be like, we have our, we have a, a, a gay gentleman on to give us the uh, insight into Britney's psyche. Air uh, Justin Bardell, yeah. <laughs> holding <laughs> offensive Britney Spears, wet banana, 
Well, they talk about locker room material. This could haunt him forever. And all because he just went into a restaurant. And yeah, I was wondering, I thought it was going to be a security off when I first heard about it. I was like, how does Brittany get hit in the face and then her security doesn't attack that security yeah. and becomes a security domino effect? I think he's going to keep his job. He was, if and if it was anybody, and I've said this before, I said if this no, was... he's going to keep his job. If he's this not was not, <laughs> if this was not a basketball player, say this was like Lady Gaga or Adele who have had residencies in Las Vegas mm. before, and say if it was just like a drunk woman or a drunk gay guy or you know a straight guy whatever and someone was like oh my god down like the same thing would have happened it's like back up dude like mm. you can't just run up and touch people no of course and he swats it's her just so he's happens not like Britney Spears. he's not like hitting back to like punch her he's just like nope no 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 hands off well the scrutiny of this guy makes me wonder that if it was just a random vegas loon would the reaction from the internet still been the same? No. Like, whoa. No one would have given whoa. a shit. But no. it, because it's Britney Spears, yes. people's heads explode. One thousand percent. What the fuck? Yeah. Are we in a simulation? She was assaulted. I was like, this is her first day, not taped to the bed, and you know she gets slapped. <laughs> That's in the what face. it looks like. It looks yeah. like someone was like, when you have a, a dog that's been inside the whole mm-hmm. day, and it's like, <laughs> mm-hmm. and you go, all right, all right, we're gonna go outside, and you go to put the leash on it, and then it just sprints out the door. Yeah, that's like, what God. happened. No, you know the routine. I'm dog sitting, and this thing got away. Yep. It's eating its own poop. And I'm I've talking about Brittany. Many times. Ugh. Mm. I got, after that story, I got to perk up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And this has been a kick of mine. I saw Alexander Barkov, captain of the Florida Panthers, do this on the bench. And now I just go around doing smelling salts. <laughs> he was like putting them in his eyes and shit. I was just doing. <laughs> you want to? Add, you want to add some? I the <laughs> yes, I do because I'm. I've never. Don't go too crazy, Sarah Weinshank. Earlier today, she wanted some and she got a brain knocker. She was like, "Don't uh, go too crazy. Get a little sense." Are they like first. poppers? I don't. I've never done a popper Me necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> but you let me know if they're like poppers. Maybe I'll start buying some. Ooh. Yes. Ooh, his right. Wait, what does that smell? It's like when you jump in a pool and you get water up your nose. Do I squeeze this? Or is you, it squeeze? Squeeze a, you do squeeze and then you get the like. Oh, you squeeze it and smell. Not Ooh, hard. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. Let's go. Let's do some it podcasting. Smel- it smells like. <sighs> like, a, like chlorine. I mean, it's smelling. Does it smell like perm solution or cat piss? Yeah, it smells like hair, like a hair chemical or something that I've smelled before. It reminds me of summer days jumping in the pool, that refreshing feeling when you wake up. Shit. Ta da, we're here. (laughs) Oh, yeah, I love it. What does that do besides kill my brain cells? It just makes you go, hello, good morning. (laughs) And you're doing that before the grocery store. I do it before everything now. Yeah. I do it. I'm going on stage. But what's, what was it used for, like, in the Victorian days? Like, when women passed out, right? They were like, well, oh, good gracious. And, you know, football players use it when they get knocked out and shit. Oh. Well, that... Hockey players just use it to get pumped up so Ooh. they can go out there and wreck someone. Yeah. Shout out Alexander Barkov. Or for, um, uh, being my... You just, like, you know, I hope you're uh, influencing the kids out there. You're a real hero. Getting them all to do smell insults, mm-hmm. too. And security guards <laughs> use it to backhand pop stars. Yeah, well, Brittany, yeah. yeah, when Britney got knocked out, she they could have went down there and gotten her some of this. That's for oh, sure. now we're googling our smelling salt safe. Great. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to know. Why would you Google that? I didn't. Not at all. I just said. I didn't what tell her to Google for. that. She's <laughs> the AI is becoming uh, self-aware. Let's read this email real quick sure. from Julian in Chicago. And I don't even really know why I, I picked this email. It doesn't have any article. I want to encourage folks out there to send emails to Josh Potter Show at gmail.com. And this one, uh, you know, regardless of if you have a, a reporting or whatnot, I want you to do it if you just want to say hello or maybe you want to be like Julian from Chicago. It says, King Roach, what are your thoughts on this guy? Uh, well, let's forget, because he did give me a video, but I don't want to play the whole video for you. It's just about aliens. The possibility oh. of aliens coming here with all this new information coming out. Are they here, or is this just a way to distract us from the other shit? Hmm. Mm. I don't know. Oh, that was about it? it. <laughs> that was okay. it. That was from Julian was in Chicago. Also, there's a show called what? Hail? Hell? Oh, you were going to read the Hail rest of honey, it? Hail, honey, I'm home. 
Seriously, look it up. Okay. Heil, honey, I'm home. Well, I, no. I, okay. I, I left out the Nazi part. Oh, yeah, that's probably for the best. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, what's the rest of it say? We have heard of the show. Yeah, it's no, an old I have Nazi not, sitcom no. I don't want to hear. It didn't fly. Yeah. Let's just put it that Play. way. <laughs> it's going to pre- premiere on CBS this fall. Heil, honey, I'm home. <laughs> but I want, yeah, no, it's that, that was a real thing. But I, uh, it has nothing to do with the aliens thought. It's actually more interesting probably than the aliens thought now that it comes to think of it. I'm ready. F- I'm honestly ready for it. Cause for I aliens? Think, yes. There was something. I, I can't remember. There was a video I saw of like a 4th of July. Um, I want to say it was in like Scottsdale or something. It was Arizona maybe. And there was a, maybe if you can find it, but there was like, it looks like fireworks going up and then they kind of suspend and you're like, oh, that's a plane. And then they split off into two and everyone's like, what is this? Mm. Then you saw the thing about Vegas and the 911 call about Vegas. Yes. And the guy the was body like, cam. Yeah. And he was like, they were in my backyard and they were tall. And we, was it Scottsdale? Was I right? Yeah, that's yeah. Always, yeah, this is it. It's yeah, always they didn't know if it was like, It's always Scottsdale. It's always See, Arizona. Look at that. Oh, and they're like, oh, like it's a meteor, challenger. but then hold on. It's like, and we're going to just stay right here. <laughs> like that, that to me is like, what? Yeah, I would see if that, if, maybe I've insane. seen these things and I'm just like, that's me. But then, you know, I, I, I want, I'm ready. I wouldn't mind. Now, I, this is, I, I, uh, I don't think that they're using these things to distract us. I think Britney Spears, I think they, Joe Biden was like, hey, Britney, go run up on Wem- <laughs> Wem- Wem- Benyama. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I got some bullshit I got to do. How about you go run up on him in a Vegas hotel? Mm-hmm. That's the kind of shit to distract us. This kind of shit, they just can't hide it anymore. Yeah. So it's starting to leak out there. Like I said, though, I I wouldn't know if I saw one of those things or not, to be quite honest. Maybe I've seen a UFO and I don't even know. I think we have. Yeah. I, right. I, 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 yeah I, I'm I, just saying I see floating lights all the time and I just go. Less smelling salts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> smelling yeah. salts. Yeah. Maybe more smelling salts because, mm-hmm. boy, oh, boy, the vision's going. But, uh, yeah, so I never I never walk around, like, expecting to see it or looking for it, I should say. But I wonder how many times we might have seen it. That's what I always wonder. Like, we're just sitting there, like, looking at something, and it's like, and then it goes away, like, yeah. behind our heads. Or the lady who nutted on the airplane who uh, <laughs> was like, there's a lizard person. And that. That's what we were talking about outside. Oh, oh yeah? We were talking about that outside. She was informing it. me about it. I didn't hear about this. A woman, evidently, yeah, was on a plane, saw how she... Did she say it was a lizard Mm-mm. person? Oh, no. She, she said, that motherfucker's not, not real. real. Yeah. What? I'm telling you, I'm getting the fuck off. And there's a reason why I'm getting the fuck off and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two fucks, but I am telling you right now, that motherfucker, that motherfucker back there is not real. And you can sit on this plane and you can fucking die with them or not. I'm not going to. I don't know. People were saying she was drunk at first. I would say that she seemed way too collected yet scared to be drunk but i, don't know. I think drugs? it's a mix of drugs and alcohol yeah true but i also think some um, people just can't handle their shit i mean i took a bunch of mushrooms not too long ago and for like three days i thought vampires might be real oh, they are y'all can't handle your drugs that's yeah, all i hear if you can't handle drugs <laughs> don't fly on airplanes because it's every it's everything every time i'm on tiktok like my algorithm's just like people nutting on airplanes like just losing their shit when you say nutting it takes me to it <laughs> uh, i want you to know your, oh. your use of nutting oh my, throws nutting, me off every my time nutting's like, different than your because i was asking i'm like when did she come <laughs> no. when did she come so no, when is she she saw a lizard person like nutting, and came? nutting <laughs> down they're just like ah. yeah it's okay. like it's like orgasming, but not like with fluids. Okay, okay. That's like nutting. They're just I like, understand. but with ah! insanity. Never yeah. heard it used. Nutting quite down. Like that, they, so I... They're nutting down. Yeah. Hence my confusion. It's like like if I'm out if I'm out and I see something crazy, I'm like, oh shit, they're nutting. Oh. Yeah. It's, oh, it's so <laughs> yeah. funny. Yeah. I definitely. But I hear that go, could be true. Oh shit, yeah. they're nutting. That's they're I mean, nutting. They're, they're, they're nutting. Road, they're like losing. They're road? losing it. They're they're nutting down that man is nutting but i think what i think what could have happened too is that she was on pills and then like started like talking too much and she was sitting next to someone like myself who doesn't give a shit about (laughs) communication on planes so she's just like and he's just looking at her like "Uh uh-huh like not even responding and then she starts getting vocal and vocal and he just goes and she was like, ah, ah, he's not real. Yeah, I Which, would love but that I'm like, to be the case. someone was saying like his his eyelids blinked 
vertically and I'm like show me I think that was actually a fake video too like he put in the caption like that it wasn't real he just wanted to see how far it could get before people were like oh, someone else said that yeah, yeah because everything people everything is just bullshit am I even on my own show anymore what's yeah. going on <laughs> this is a simulation I can't I mean this is the problem I don't know what's real and what's fake mm -hmm. so if I went down this thing I would have been like and then a lizard man with mm -hmm. two eyes I'd sit here and read it as a matter of fact and someone would be like Googling, you know, Chris Kirsten would be fucking Googling up there. And I'd be like, actually, the lizard eyes wasn't real. I'd be like, what? Turns uh, out the whole story's fake. Or like the kid who jumped off the pirate ship and the shark ate him or whatever. The and, pirate ship? Yeah, oh, the, the cruise ship. Yeah. And they were like, the, the Bermuda Triangle strikes no. again. I'm like, don't try to make the Bermuda no, Triangle man. a thing <laughs> since yeah. 1994. The drunk kid got oh, yeah. sucked into the depths of the ocean. Yeah, I mean, it, like sharks ate him. Yeah. A hundred percent the sharks mm -hmm. in that drunk idiot jump cruise ships. I don't even go near the edge. Mm -hmm. Someone's like, you want to go look at the side? And no. Like, oh, the side yeah, where the where the edges where no. I can just disappear into the yeah. dark sea in the night. No, thank you. No. Get out of town. Absolutely not. Today's Josh Potter show is brought to us by DoorDash. And whether you're road tripping this summer or just hanging out on the couch watching reruns, I'm more the latter. Uh, DoorDash is making sure you're eating amazing food at a great price. And with, with their uh, Dash Pass membership right now, you can actually get your favorite foods with $0 delivery fees and reduced service fees on all eligible orders. Your Dash Pass even gets you special access to members-only events and chances to win amazing prizes. So this Dash Pass, it's really something, especially for this summer. I'll tell you, I used it for something so small, but it was so convenient. I made the best sandwich that you could ever imagine. Oh, it was a great sandwich. Oh, my Lord, I'm thinking about it right now. Fantastic sandwich. Maybe never going to make one as good as that ever again. But I did not have mustard. And I cursed the skies. I punched the air. And I thought I could walk to the store. I could, you know, go all the way down the street sweating just to get mustard. Or I can use my Dash Pass membership, and boom, mustard arrived at my door within 15 minutes it was crazy. The sandwich was barely even. It was it, sure. Of course, I was, you know, staring at it the whole time. But nevertheless, much better than having to walk through the heat and the sun from come back an hour later just for mustard. So whatever you're craving, DoorDash, let me tell you, they've got you covered. And right now you can experience a summer like no other and make this year your best summer with a Dash Pass membership from DoorDash today. Sign up for Dash Pass now, and you'll get your first month for free. Plus, when you use my promo code, you're going to get 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $15 or more on your next Dash Pass order. So download the DoorDash app right now. Go download it right in your little phone, and you enter the code Josh Potter Summer right in the DoorDash app, and you're going to get 50% off when you spend $15 or more on your next Dash Pass order when you download the DoorDash app and enter that code. It's Josh Potter Summer. Don't forget the code, Josh Potter Summer, for 50% off your next order. Subject to change, terms apply. Well, let's get into the news here, shall we? Since, uh, I mean, we didn't even play the sports intro. I feel like I should, even though that was our only sports story of the day. Beep, 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 I just have to. It's beep, 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 tradition. Beep, beep, beep. And now into the news. Quickest transaction. Leading the news today, Jonah Hill. Yeah. What do you think of these texts? Uh, They're just in the texts that have rocked the world. I think it's really embarrassing <laughs> um, because I I'm on I'm on Sarah's uh, side, Sarah Brady, because I'm like, you're a professional surfer. You're a and model. model. I mean, no one has like a Jonah Hill poster over their bed. You know, uh, there's some kids who watch super bad, I think. But, uh, but yeah, but also like, who who are you? I just think it's odd to be like, you're not allowed. To, you're you're not a surfer allowed. and a model. You're not allowed to surf. Nor like model. he's like a Nexium cult leader. Like he, he plays midnight volleyball. But here's the thing. It's like that. I try to like, you know, I try to expand my brain. I do a little do a little of these. Yeah, and then I <laughs> sit in my bedroom and I think about it. What if he was just writing out of pure like through tears? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Out of pure like upsetness anger he doesn't mean any of these things but he's just like through the tears and he's like oh god you ever i mean i've sent regrettable texts many many 
I don't I don't know that I would be excited if they got put on blast. I would have this conversation in person, like a grown up. Mm. I would or not, over the phone. Or over the phone. Why are we texting this yes, shit? If you're, gonna, you're famous. Don't you know better? <laughs> yeah, you don't think you're ever going to like scorn this person and they're going to be like, really, bitch? I'm going to make a buck real quick. You know how much she got paid for these texts? Oh, my God. I bet a whole bunch. She a wants them bunch. to get canceled. Super bad. Wow. <laughs> yes. I didn't even mean that as a pun. Well done. Well but, done. Uh, you know. Yeah, if you're going to put boundaries on your lady, call them and do it. But also, he had a mental health documentary come out like a year ago. Also, yeah, I don't true. think you can put boundaries on someone. Like, boundaries are for yourself. Like, that's you're, what putting, you're, you're trying to yeah. put rules on someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, like, that's, that's that's funny, weird. the use of the word boundaries and also on spell somebody right. else. And anyone who says, I literally am the best boyfriend is, uh, like, probably literally not the best <laughs> boyfriend yeah. 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 on Earth. On like, Earth, yes. On Earth. You know, when I masturbate, I uh, picture waking up next to Jonah Hill. <laughs> he literally said, I love how your therapist thinks I suck. And then right after he said, I literally am the best boyfriend. Uh, I love how your therapist, th when the yeah. therapist isn't on your team, you are But also, fucked. isn't that private? I had a therapist. Well, she probably was like, my therapist, blah, blah, blah. My therapist sided with a girl one time, and I was like, how fucking dare you? Yeah. <laughs> I want my money back. Are you kidding me? She's insane, you stupid. Are you insane? No, I don't trust you. But here's also in, but in, I'm insane, in so. Jonah's defense. Yeah, you're going to, okay. Uh, he broke up with her, and now he has a girlfriend and a child with the new girlfriend so why are we even talking about this? exactly but now the old girlfriend is saying i hope he has a daughter so he can have respect for his young daughter well like, you know uh, what uh you know what she also did hmm. she was the reason this all came out was because people were like you know making memes like isn't jonah hill a swell guy or whatever and she was like he's not a swell yeah and then she put it out there that seems like a uh not so pious or, uh, you know, what's the word? Lofty reason to put these types of things out there. Yeah. It is just random how all of a sudden this just came out. And, you know, I'm sure he's going to be interviewed. I'm sure she's going to be interviewed. She'll be on, like, CBS this morning or something, Extra, Access Hollywood. They're going to be like, what's your take? You know, I think she's going to be on the lowest rung podcasts that exist. So, hey. Give me a call. I think she'll be on <laughs> Dancing with the Stars. Do you think she'll go that far? Oh, probably. Is she that good of a surfer? I want to know. But I'm also like, I love, I think that's great. She's like a model, a surfer, but also like you can't have rules being like, you can't talk to any male surfers. Yeah, of course. Like if a guy on a surfboard swims over to her, she's like, absolutely not. Get away. No, I'm the, with Jonah Hill. The insecurity dripping from those text messages mm -hmm. is uh, is drowning me. I go surfing on that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But we move on. Unless you had anything else about that. I, I, it's all I saw. I just thought that was interesting. Uh, yeah. You know, everyone's talking about these text messages. And I say... Who the sh who the hell cares? <laughs> who the hell <laughs> the cares? <laughs> There's aliens. Yep. Bring them. The distractions. When Ben Yaya's getting slept, do you think Joe Biden was like, hey, can you release those text messages? <laughs> What's it? What's just because it's Joe Biden? Just get it out there so we get just some distraction. Just get it out there. Just so I'm going to do some shit over here. <laughs> get those texts out there. Well, anyway, this, way, this uh, story comes to us by way of uh, T-Bone. Who sent it in? Great Roach reporter out there. Josh Potter Show at gmail.com is where you can send in stories. This one I find very interesting. I got sent this one quite a bit, not just from T-Bone. Mm. A UK nurse had sex with a dialysis patient in his car, then failed to get help when he died of a heart attack, according to the disciplinary hearing that booted her from her profession. Penelope Williams, 42, was found with a long-term patient after he died in the back of his car. With, a, with his trousers down, according to the Telegraph, she initially told cops in Wales that she had only met the man who was not identified because he massaged, er, massaged, messaged her <laughs> to say he was feeling unwell. In a formal meeting with her messenger, Williams, who had another partner, denied any sexual relationship with the now dead man and said she merely sat in the back of his car for about 30 to 45 minutes while just talking. Oh, yes. I've done some just talking in cars before. Yes. Let me tell you. Wait, so he's on dialysis? Yeah, I think he goes in and get. I Correct me if I'm oh, wrong about dialysis. You like, go in and get yes. it, you leave. Yes. Terrible oh, existence. Nice. And so she's a nurse. He's he's getting his dialysis. 
And he's shooting his shot because why the hell not? Why You're getting the, dialysis. Yeah, hey, yeah. if I get my dick sucked while I'm here, yeah. that'll make the dialysis a little bit better. I mean, I'll tell you what. I'll go cycle some blood in and out to get my dick sucked once in a while, I'll tell you. And there's nothing like a like a <laughs> slutty nurse named Penelope. I love that. That's the slutty nurse name. I, I think love that's it. what they put on the spirit Halloween costumes. Penelope. And I'm not <laughs> slut shaming her. Do your thing. No, of course, please. Like, but if just... that's what gets you off some fresh blood with flowing through a guy, <laughs> let's see. Let's get it pumping through the penis. Maybe she's just doing a little extra work there to help that blood get moving. But what happened was, uh, so he died, and she what, did she get out of the car, and she's like, she's oh, like no. yeah, she always. We were just talking. I swear. Ooh. Idiot woman. <laughs> I uh I'm curious, am I wrong about what the di- dialysis is? They It's like cancer, right? Shuffle your blood in. They out, filter right? out your blood cuz your yeah. kidneys can't do it, yeah. They like run it through. So the they machine. take it out and they put another one in? Is that like chemo? Yeah, no. I mean, I don't know. I could be wrong with it. I believe it's your own blood. Like I believe they pump your own blood out. It so runs like, through a machine. Yes, filters, oxygenate it. The and machine all that basically stuff. does what your kidneys mm. aren't doing and then yes, it yes, comes yes. back. So I was kidney dialysis. And there's sometimes yes. like at home, but it has to do with blood out going in and out of your body. It's Ozempic. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to keep That's making jokes. It <laughs> <laughs> it's just Ozempic. I didn't want to keep making jokes and then have it be the complete wrong procedure. <laughs> I know. And then you have all the comments being like, oh, uh, you don't even know what dialysis is. You fucking idiot. No shit. I barely made it out of high school. In a formal meeting with her managers, Williams, who had another partner, okay, she denied the sex. She further explained that the patient started groaning and suddenly died, according to uh, her the counsel. However, the nurse later admitted that they had actually been having a year-long affair mm. while he was getting regular treatment, and they met that night for sex. Wait, so you mean it wasn't just for talking? So we were just, like, talking. We weren't going to fuck in the car. Uh-huh. We're just talking in the car. We're going to go have sex later. Is that her? Yes. Hey. All right. The NMC initially said that the romp <laughs> took place in a hospital car park, but on Wednesday apologized to the hospital saying it actually happened in an unconnected car park. Oh. Wait, that's the hospital? That looks like a Joe's Crab Shack. I think that <laughs> might be the unconnected car park. <laughs> it does look like a Joe's Crab Shack. Oh, Come on no. down to the Texas yeah, Roadhouse. Exactly. You want to you want to you want to throw your peanut shells on the floor? Come on in. Well, it says here that this parking lot was unconnected to the hotel, so this must be like oh. a, a a separate parking lot. This is the kind of parking lot you want to go get your dick sucked in because no one's going to bother yes. you. There's no lights or anything. This is if a, you have you know obviously consenting parties. This yeah. isn't a place you hang out to find getting your dick sucked. Yeah, that's a good DSPL. Yes, exactly. Good DSPL. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, when her lover kneeled over, Williams called a colleague instead of emergency services. So she just was like, Stephanie, get out of here. (laughs) He's dying. Stephanie, you know that? You know that guy, the patient that I've been fucking for a year? The one on dialysis? Yeah, yeah, him. I was sucking his dick and he's dead out here. Not again. Get out of here. I think he's dead. Uh, Bring a fucking defibrillator. Does this top look good on me? <laughs> Williams was crying and distressed and asking for help as she tried to explain that someone had died, but still refused to call 999. This is in the UK. Uh-huh. 999 in the UK. That seems like that could be trouble. Mm-hmm. I need to move buttons. I mean, what if you sit on your phone and get a 999? <laughs> that seems real easy. Golly. Uh, it says here even the UK equivalent to 911 is 999. I just want to put that out there. I wasn't, <laughs> I know, I'm like, Thank I you. wasn't making that up. Before you know. In the UK didn't know. Yeah. Instead, she waited for her colleague, who finally called an ambulance when she got there, uh, according to the reports, which did not detail how long it likely delayed him getting help. You know, waiting for the friend to come out. She's like, uh, what? But also, isn't she a nurse? <laughs> Can she give him CPR or something? I'm not that kind of nurse. Oh, she just right. freaks out. <laughs> We're not all the same. I put needles in their arms. I don't give them CPR. Don't nurse shame me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take that class. <laughs> Mrs. Williams' actions were significant departures from the standards expected of a registered nurse and are fundamentally incompatible with her remaining on the registrar. I don't know. That's the you always got to read what they say at mm-hmm. the hospital. You know, the panel was of the view that the findings in this particular case demonstrate that Mrs. Williams' actions were so serious that to allow her to continue practicing would undermine public confidence in the profession and in the NMC as a regulatory body. I would have liked her to stay on. Man, that's a great bonus to your dialysis. Mm-hmm. A little parking lot beach action that makes going to dialysis worthwhile. Yeah, that's a dark time when you're having dialysis. Yeah. That pretty much means it's over, right? 
I don't know if it's over. I think it's just trying to get you better. Don't you just got to do that shit forever, forever, forever and yeah. ever and ever? Yeah, yeah you exactly. You, you, you don't get new kidneys, yeah. I think we got to hire more nurses that suck dicks and those things. Or, you know, hey, dudes. It's like the, the, the new gen of candy stripers. Yes. You know? A little cut. Hey. We got a lot of OnlyFans models out there who don't necessarily have their subscribership high. <laughs> Teach them how to put a needle in an arm and they go out there and they do their thing. That would make it a brighter scenario. Couldn't you imagine? <laughs> You're destined to be on dialysis for the rest of your life. Uh, oh, no. But I get the beaches, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. sick. All right. There's yes. worse diagnosis. You, you, you fit in the bracket. Yeah. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Does my insurance cover the flow jobs? Well... We'll it comes it out. out of your deductible. Yep. <laughs> this one comes to me by way of Luke Rutz. This is fun. Do you like when people get... Well, I don't know. This one might be not that fun. <laughs> Wait, what, what were you going to say? You're like, you love this, Justin. Wait, I, said, do you, I said you might. Like, okay. I don't know. A Maryland man... Marilyn Manson fan? No, nope. a Maryland man. He was uh, oh, charged. Man. <laughs> a Maryland man. I was like, what? <laughs> nope, a man that hails from Maryland. Uh -huh. He was charged with a first degree... <sighs> After allegedly stealing a forklift from a Lowe's home improvement store uh -huh. and then running over a woman with it uh. in the nearby park. Why is that funny? <laughs> she went to Home Depot to do it. He stole the forklift from Lowe's, drove it to Home Depot. And ran her over. And ran over. Was that his idea of like covering the tracks? I'm not going to bring, I'm not going to use one of Home Depot's forklifts. They'll know where he got it from. God, this would never happen in a big lots. Who <laughs> put <laughs> <laughs> Who puts a Lowe's next to a Home Depot? No, that's, that's just like asking for turf war. Yeah, right? <laughs> Was he trying to do like, he's like, fuck Home Depot. You lady, <laughs> you get your nails over there. You don't yeah. get them at all. Oh, I hope it was <laughs> like a lesbian construction worker and they like hated each other. And he's like, God damn it. Barbara's at it again. She She's building the deck that I wanted to build. Yeah, take this competition too seriously. Yeah. Officers responded to a report of a burglary and a theft in progress at a Lowe's at about 12.40 a.m. Sunday. The Charles County Sheriff's Office said in a statement, the suspect, Bryce Caleb Timothy Brown, 20 of Waldorf, broke into the business, stole a forklift, and returned it, uh, and rammed it, excuse me, through the rear gates. So he just drove off out of the rear gates. Brown... Oh. Ooh, is this a video of it? No, it was an old woman. Oh he ran over, she was 73 years old. What is she doing out what that late? What a piece of shit. Let's find Not out. Her, she the guy. dialysis. He Aww. spoiled the story. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> I want to see why this old lady, what's she doing in a parking lot at 1240 a.m., huh? huh? Yeah. Having a post-dialysis meetup? Yeah. Maybe oh, she should, look at yeah. this. Look at this fucking woman. That's a lawyer if <laughs> oh, I ever yeah. saw her. She's going to complain. Brown drove the forklift to a Home Depot, which is about a half a mile northeast of the Lowe's, where he rammed a vehicle into the store's parking lot. Inside that vehicle, the sheriff's officer said, was a sleeping Glorestein Pickney, 73 of Waldorf, whom Brown did not know. So he just rammed it into a car. Oh, yeah. So it wasn't it wasn't like he ran her over. She was asleep in her car. He had a forklift. He wanted to see how it worked and like killed her maybe she was already dead in the car why is she sleeping in her car can you what? do that in a home depot parking lot is that like walmart where you can just go mm -hmm. sleep in your car yeah is it open well we'll I find out here home depot is like 24 hours they don't oh, wait here listen to this brown followed her struck her with the forklift and ran her over and then stole the victim's car and fled so i don't know what's he I, he like Grand Theft Autoed her. Yeah, but, but that car is useless after you run it over. Pointless. Steal a full car. What an amateur. Officer, officers who were investigating the initial burglary at Lowe's canvassed the area and observed the forklift in the Home Depot parking lot. They subsequently discovered the victim underneath of the forklift. She was pronounced deceased on the scene. Brown was identified as a suspect and arrested Sunday evening. The sheriff's office said he was being held without bond at the county detention center. The sheriff's office also said on charges that included first degree murder, second degree murder assault and theft it is unclear mondays as of monday afternoon whether brown had retained an attorney as well because i'm rich comment they don't say what he was doing because i wonder if it says it in this story well it just seemed like he was bored it yeah, seems he just like woke her up and then was like run how dare well i mean how did he know he she was sleeping and like i want so many more answers why was she sleeping in her car in a Lowe's or in a Home Depot parking lot. How did he like, drive a half mile in a forklift, oh. know that she was sleeping in the car, and then subsequently I go, hope like, that's the car I'm going to steal, and this is the elaborate way I'm going to do it. There's a lot of holes in the story. I feel like I feel like this story is a lot more sad than it already is. 
I c- that like makes it, it even better. Just, it could be like a seventy-year-old woman living in her car. On like, this program, we believe in the China syndrome of sadness. The uh, sadder it is, the more hilarious oh, it gets as it comes out the other side. Oh, especially when it comes to oh, oh murder. <laughs> so there is an article oh, here right. saying that his mother came out and said she, he was uh, having a mental health crisis. Oh well. well yeah. Wait, I, the twenty-year-old? You're making yes. it less sad. You know what? These <laughs> no, young <just> people, <laughs> these young people with mental crises, is like suck it up, y'all. You know, <laughs> I ask people like during my shows, I'm like, "What do you guys have?" You know, because I'm like, we all have to check in with our mental health, and they're like, oh, "I just have anxiety," and I'm like, "Okay, so Thursday." Like, yeah, no, it's become a fad to like uh, <laughs> to be mentally ill. Well, not to be it, but to. Wear it with a badge of honor. Oh, yeah, like a, you know like, a, I mean? like a Boy Scout badge. Or Be a Girl embarrassed Scout badge. by your depression like I am. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> let it, yeah. If it's going to cripple you, let it cripple you. Yes. Yeah. Well, we have our foreign correspondent from Italy, mm-hmm. Paolo Marcos Morara. He always sends in great stories. He sent this one, and it says, uh, man impregnates his whole family. Okay. Wild <laughs> sentence. <laughs> I'm like, where is this? In a tweet that has left everyone questioning who is to blame, the suspect can be seen in cuffs and neighbors watching disbelief, and both victims, the wife of the man, the wife's sister, and the mother, not in sight. Bizarre as it sounds, according to the police, the trio filed the case once they all began showing signs of pregnancy, but the wife was likely unaware of the betrayal happening around her. However, Internet users have rejected this statement. One commented, there's no way she was that blind. I can smell a rat from afar. Why do we care what the internet says like that? This guy, they're just like, what's the tweet say? And then they pull up this idiot. Like, like who some cares? stupid tweet. Like you have, this guy doesn't know anything more than you or I know about no. this situation. And he's just writing that. So it's a Nigerian man, his wife, her sister, and the Their mother mom. of them. They're having so sister nieces. two sisters and a mom <laughs> sister nieces and sister grandma i mean I, porn hub on sister a weekend christian what the yeah, hell yeah. is going on this is just a porn hub category like, <laughs> this is definitely a porn hub that's category. all it is why only porn hubs and you know not with the pregnancy just on the back well like, why if, do if we you look if you kids? look hard Man. enough if you dig deep into the porn hub you can find Ugh. stuff oh sure yeah and it gets the family stuff gets weird weird if yeah. you even just google something about like this story here <laughs> man impregnates his whole family <laughs> it probably will take you nine years to find the article about this because you'll be you know drowning in a deluge of different wild porn yeah i mean probably not even that wild of porn also just mainstream porn where it's just porn stars <laughs> you see all the time going like step bro oh yeah i'm stuck in the dryer yeah you like know what porn kind of i miss stuff. i'll tell you this what? Because I also, there's a guy, a coach who got fired today for, uh, he got fired because there was hazing on the team. Okay. And uh, he acted like he didn't know about it. His name is something Fitzgerald. I don't know the whole story, but it was about hazing. And it made me think about hazing. And oftentimes, hazing is like gay stuff. Oh, for sure. So I was always wondering, I'm like, if you were gay, would you be like, hazing? Sick. Yeah. I mean, it is a rape. Whatever, but well, like, not all of it. No, but I mean, like, like you know, an elephant walk is an elephant walk. Yes, you know exactly that kind. Of I stuff. always thought was like, who thought of that? <laughs> who <laughs> Some thought, frat like, guy. Who thought of that? What Penn State like Christian thought of that? <laughs> right. I always wondered because I've never, I never did a frat or anything like that, so I never had to, or or was a part of a high D1 or soggy biscuit. Team. What's that one where you come on the cookies? Yeah. Oh, okay. You come I, on the cookie and whoever like finishes last has to eat it. That was like urban legend. And then but you're I don't gay. Know. That's what also yeah. like the consequence of it. It's like, yeah, if you get hard, you're gay. Yeah. But it's like, why are we doing this? And thing? then all those guys <laughs> ended up marrying women yeah. and then hate themselves and gay people even more because they have to live a lie. But the reason problem <laughs> solved. I just solved homophobia. You're welcome. <laughs> the reason Make I sure to check out the next UFC match coming up this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I bring this up, though, is because I miss a porn site from back in the day that doesn't they no longer produce content anymore. Which one? It was called hazeher.com. Oh, God. <laughs> and it was always like sororities. And they would just be like, come on, Dyke, eat my pussy. <laughs> They'd say shit like that. And then they would do it. It was my favorite when I was a little kid. That's a little kid. Uh, you know, I was like a teenager. I was not a little kid. <laughs> like Thundercats. And you know, like Power when I, Rangers. <laughs> when I got like, you know, the f- my first like cable modem, you know what oh. I mean? And it was like, they would always do stuff like that. We're like, come on, you disgusting whore. Wash me. 
rub my fucking pussy, you stupid bitch. They do shit like that. It was so fun. See? That was when porn was pure. Now it's like- <laughs> When it was pure. <laughs> <laughs> now it's changed. Hashtag uh, not my porn. Yeah, now it's all family shit. It's uh, like, get out of here. Bring me back is, the sorority sisters that are so yelling at weird. each other. It is so weird. You stupid bitch. Lick my fucking clit. See, mine was always like- Parker Get Posey, Parker Posey, and Dazed and Confused. Fry like bacon, you little bitches. Like yeah, that yeah, was yeah. my favorite. Well, well, because of that site, I watched they that probably. scene in Dazed and Confused, and I go, oh, I know. What oh, they there did. it is. I know they can't show it on here, but I know what Fry like. Was bacon there a means. haze? There has to be a hazehim dot com. Haven't checked to be quite uh, honest, but there probably is. I'm probably. sure. Probably. Do they do that with the haze him thing? Do you think they go like? Yo, dude, fucking suck my dick. Stop being dude, fucking stop dude, loser. Dude, Coach is going to walk in and see us and then join in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm, it's that easy. <laughs> the dudes are always the worst. I mean, I'm, Dude, you know I'm not gay. Shut up. A hole's a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you're sucking my dick doesn't make you gay, bro. Look, I'm getting married tomorrow. This is my <laughs> last hurrah. <laughs> <laughs> is that what they say in it? I don't know. I, uh, but I also I just thought, how awesome would it be to hear a straight guy say the word hurrah? <laughs> yeah. I think that would be more. Wow, to that's me. meta though. Yeah. The fact that he's like, you just said hurrah, bro. Yeah. Oh, Start yeah. sucking my dick. Uh. But I wondered if that was what gay born plots were like most of the time, like turning a straight. No, I mean, I feel like vintage. It's definitely a genre. Vintage gay porn was just very like they did like stepdad stuff before mm, it was a before thing before it was they also did anal before it was a thing <laughs> yeah yeah Pioneers. they were eating yeah. ass before the gen z's got a hold of it yeah yeah they did all that before <laughs> oh respect boy. your elders <laughs> know where God. you came from that's a core memory though hazehair.com uh, viral road rage incident this from caitlin nolan she sent this in, in an email she said this is wild a man at the center of a viral road rage video do we have the video yeah, uh, they're facing serious charges after being identified and arrested by authorities in California earlier this week, May 18th. This is back in a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Revolt reported of the shocking footage that showed a white man. Uh Oh, that means there's going to be some uh, racist <coughs> stuff going on. If they say that the man is the first man is white, that means the next man is going to be the uh, inner city blacks. So get ready. <laughs> oh, God. He was aggressively driving it's a the sound bite. <laughs> <laughs> the Jeep Wrangler, uh, the Jeep Wrangler, also white. Uh, a white Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> Keep that in mind, as he berated at least one individual in another vehicle carrying black occupants. I knew it. Oh, oh we've got a lot of stars on the text here. It says, uh, "Fuck you." I could. Im- I'm not going to mm. say this word. Mm. It involves uh, Glenward. The Glenward, exact. Thank you, Kirsten. Oh, Fuck shit. you, Glenward. Fuck you, Glenward. Repeatedly explain exclaimed the man whose identity was confirmed to be Tracy Roberts Blackwell. The irony of the white man in the white Jeep Wrangler having the last name Blackwell isn't lost on this reporter. No, sir. CBS News on Friday night reported at one point during the racist tirade that saw him continually yell out, man, they really put the N-word in oh, this yeah. thing quite a bit in this <laughs> article. <laughs> they really <laughs> just kept putting, did you star it out or did they? They did. They did, but why really keep it. writing it? We but know the what they is, said. On the article, they actually have one you can click. It's hyperlinked. So. Oh, oh, they go, if you want to get rid of the stars and really see that word. Yeah, if print, you want to see the uncensored article. They could have went with four stars for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, they that were like. not a two star word. I think, yeah, we're getting down to the. <laughs> not a two star yeah. word. People are trying to get away with the yeah, one look at star. That. You can't. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, they got two like. stars. Yeah. yeah. Two little stars. Yeah. You, we know what it says there. <laughs> we, yeah, you're just oh making it. Now you're making us say it in our heads. <laughs> yeah. So you're. this is bad for all of us. You could have used five stars. Five. And I would have known what you it was. You could have just exactly. used all, <laughs> could have yeah. all stars. You could have been, yeah, six stars. It could have been yeah. wingding stars. Six stars, and I, you, I know, I'm actually a dash? thankful. dash? You could have done a long <laughs> dash? <laughs> I'm thankful, though, that they didn't do all the stars, <laughs> because who would I be, then, if my brain jump to go well i know what those stars mean mm-hmm. and then i'm st- you know what i'm saying so i'm glad we have like maybe five stars mm-hmm. that'd be fun <laughs> while the footage <laughs> began circulating the california highway patrol was able to ascertain information that revealed the encounter took place who cares about that blackwell was arrested friday and booked into the alameda county jail do we have the video that's what we really want to see yeah I, i'm I, sure I it's you uh, really wanted to it's beeped that, right um uh, we're going to beep it in the post, right? Yes. Okay, uh, there right. we go. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's go. Oh. 
Oh my lord. Oh, it did Oh, and happen. then he crashed. I was just about to say, it would be so amazing <laughs> if he just clipped something. Clipped the, clipped clipped the something wall. safely, and then he did. Also, why is he wearing, I like, love it. Dame Edna glasses? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? So weird. <laughs> yeah, he should be like, fuck yes, you. Yes, yeah. Is that Dame Edna before <laughs> he passed? It's crazy. His face wrinkles almost look like a Hulk Hogan mustache it's right there. It's so weird. It is alarming. And, like, <laughs> we get the message. Yeah, I would just yeah. be like, I don't get... I would never really was a road rage type. I saw my father get road rage quite a bit, and then he never cursed that quite that way, uh, the way that that Mr. Blackwell did. Uh-huh. Uh, but he, you know, he would follow people place. And I was like, "What are you doing?" So I would always like I'd be zen about it. But so if I'm the other car, I would have just let him fly by. It yeah. seemed like he was stopping though. Yeah. But I mean, because I, I would be like, "Yeah, that I guess that's me." Uh huh. But all did- right. Did he come over into their lane or did they go I into his lane? I think he swerves because like, oh, he yeah, just whips he his arm in, yeah. and then he just and takes he out part of the wall. Yeah. And he wanted he to scare them up. by swerving and be like, huh, yeah. and then he fucked up because he's Ooh, in a Jeep. I wonder what happened after that though because, oh, oh, the video just I also up. loved his, his passenger, which was like his wife or whatever. She's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you tell him. <laughs> you tell him. You tell him. I love this man. I love him. What happens when he crashes? Did you, That's what I'm trying to see. Also, I don't know if he has a passenger. Yeah, he has a lady there. He has like I don't not the guy driving. I think that's just his seat being up. Oh, oh maybe it could be a like a small dog, <laughs> just yelping. Yeah, I think that's a seat. Or he already. Yeah, I think she's already been ejected from the vehicle. Oh, she's probably been thrown violently. Yeah. yeah oh, this, yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> this is in Oakland. Mm-hmm. So yeah. does this guy? Since he's in Oakland, is he just yeah, driving around saying him. this? All I mean, my the God, time? I'm like, do you not know like? I'm saying, does You're in going? Oakland because he starts to cut across more lanes and then it just stops there. Huh? Maybe that's his kink. Hmm. <laughs> that I've seen that road porn rage? site. Yeah, road rage. <laughs> he goes and screams yeah, at people, go, and then he goes. He goes home into and just Oakland, fucks his California, wife really hard. <laughs> and was like, "You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do two stars today." That's why he He's was like, "Honey, someone <clears throat> cut me off. Get yeah. over oh, here." Oh yeah, please cut me off. Oh God, I want it. Oh, I want it. <laughs> That's why he had one hand out the window. The other hand was yeah. like this. That's why he swore. <laughs> and he was nutting. He was, yes. <laughs> Both White. ways. Mm-hmm. So double nut. Mm-hmm. Double nut action for that man. <laughs> he can't double nut on the road. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, thank you for sending that in. <laughs> Please beep all of those words. <laughs> We're going to leave them in. Bleep We're a few g- extra for fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, beep them. Make sure you five-star beep them. <laughs> <laughs> this coming to us by way of Jake Mullen. Sent it over to joshpottershow at gmail.com. Man apologizes for defacing the Coliseum. Oh, I saw this. Did you? A yes. man seen on video last month. Do we have this video? He's carving his name into the Coliseum. It was his lover's name. Oh, even worse. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I think that's no one, better. Don't, it's no, romantic. Yeah, oh, oh, is it? Until they break up and then we have Leah Beverly on the side of the Coliseum. <laughs> yeah. You're going to write. Yeah, get out of here. Haley spelled with two Haley. Y's. Is that what it is? It doesn't Ivan and Haley. Right. Just kidding. June 23rd, 23. That's a lot of stuff to carve. Yeah. Yeah. Ivan plus Haley. What a. Oof. But it's so funny because in the video they have of him, he's li- he's just carving it, and someone's like, "What are you doing?" And he's turning around, and he's like, Haha, "You know, defacing property." <laughs> well, did you hear and what this he? Is his uh, excuse. Did you hear what his excuse was, or why he did it, or his sort of like pl- pleading of uh, ignorance here? Go. He's like, you know, I just uh, I didn't know it was so historic. God, our education system. Is I didn't broken. know it was so ancient. I I mean, in his defense, he's probably a young kid who grew up. In the last, you know, 15 years or so, the Coliseum right there. I mean, if you put that in downtown L.A., people would be like, hey, that's that's a new building. Yeah. I mean, compared to some of those bombed out things. Oh, but come on, Ivan. I thought it was a parking garage. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what? He's 31. Oh, Oh, okay. A little. Hey, I'm trying. Where is he from? I was just letting you know. Oh, no, no. I'm trying. He was dumb. I didn't know that. I'm (laughs) trying my best here, Ivan. I'm trying to give you a defense. You're 31. I was like, maybe he's like 20. Maybe he's a basketball player for the Spurs. He's 31 and carving him and his lover's name into stuff, regardless of it being the Coliseum. Here's what I'm saying. He's 31. There is no Haley. There's no (laughs) Haley. There's no Haley. There's no Haley. He is dying alone, and he thinks, yeah, 
if he carves oh. Ivan plus Haley, he'll go back and be like, oh, this was a, he can lie to his future mm -hmm. girlfriend if she's not mm -hmm. already dead. Also, that's why he I wanted to get caught. Line. He's yeah. like, I got a girlfriend. Edgy. Yeah. I got a girlfriend. Yeah. Oh. Look what I did. I carved Ivan. this in. Yeah. I, 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 I hate people who deface nature. It's yeah. one of my biggest fucking pet peeves when you like go on a beautiful hike and you're looking at this beautiful old magnolia tree and you just see initials carved in it like or like like beautiful rocks and you just spray painted tags all over it like get out of here no i mean well this isn't nature i get what you're saying because it's like this is this is the right. ancient Rome. This I mean, is ancient Rome. I there's get it. Uh, some people that defiled the uh, Colosseum back in the day, probably in worse ways, uh, with look. what they were just doing in the Colosseum. You Ozzy know? Osbourne peed on the Alamo, and he got like, yeah, he got out. tossed. Yeah, they were doing worse stuff though in the Colosseum <clears throat> when it was functioning. But I mean, what a time to burn Christians, you know, <laughs> or like, you know, have lion fights or. Uh, what else did they do in, in the Colosseum? I read things that they would like fill it with water and yeah. have like boat, boat battles, fights, yeah. which is crazy. They had underground aqueducts, yeah. But then you think about it and it's like, this is all, is this all bullshit? What, the all the fun events? I'm or? calling cap on the, on the Colosseum. You can't call cap on the Colosseum. I want to because it's like, is it, it like the thing where they're like, aliens built the pyramids? No, this was real. Look, that's the under. I under know. It was, How do you look at that though and say, I didn't know it was so old? I didn't know it was so old. I didn't know it was so old. Well, it looks like, uh, like I said, this that wood is so fresh. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 <laughs> yeah. What McMansion on Melrose is this remind you of? I, I'm telling you, you go downtown in a couple places, that, that building don't look so old anymore. I thought this was the set for the movie Gladiator. <laughs> Which, by the way, they're making a sequel of. I saw that, too. Did anyone ask for that? No one. And the movie has a very final ending. Oh, good. Not going to spoil the first one, I'm saying. But there's no sequel with at least the people that are the principal characters that exist in the first one. So they're going to just end up doing, like, Gladiator 2, and it's going to be all neutered horseshit. It's going to no be soul. Timothy Chalamet. Um, no, it'll be one of the Helmsworths or whatever the fuck those Hemsworth, guys are. Hemsworth, Hemsworth. Yeah, but I think we're... Joaquin, was Joaquin Phoenix in it? Mm -hmm. Jeremy Renner oh. as the gladiator. After the snowplow incident. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry, Jeremy. <laughs> My bad. Is he not doing so good? He's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's fine. Thank God. He was in a Home Depot and uh, <laughs> this guy <laughs> from... <laughs> He took a forklift just out for a stroll. This forklift just <laughs> hit him out of nowhere. <laughs> well, I have one final story for you, Justin. Uh, I sure. think you'll appreciate this one. It's about a vagina. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait. This Where's one the smelling salts? Yeah. <laughs> that's what a that's now. This is what a vagina smells like. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. O.T. Jr. sent this bad boy in. Joe's Cervical Cancer Trust, a United Kingdom-based nonprofit, is offering alternative vocabulary for women's genitals to increase what the organization is saying is inclusivity in medical language. According to the Cancer Trust's official glossary of the LGBT inclusive terms, bonus hole is an optional term for vagina. Wait, What? That in the context of cancer treatment. No, this isn't real. Ma'am, I'm afraid you have <laughs> no. stage four cancer in your bonus hole. No. <laughs> That's not a thing. It's going to be a TikTok challenge for doctors to say it with a straight face. <laughs> well, it looks like it's coming out of your bonus hole. <laughs> Ma'am. You mean the baby? You have six months to live. I'm afraid you have cancer in your bonus hole. <laughs> this is this is <laughs> bullshit. What, what, what is this organization? This is, is this bullshit? This is yes. This is like anti LGBT. Like th this is like to make them look stupid. Like what does no. it say? What is it? Joe's Cervical Cancer Trust. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? No one knows what it's that is. It's on the UK's leading cervical cancer charity. It also is well, being reported on by Fox, who might have just found yeah. the thing. In the yes, this is just bullshit. I didn't even Joe's. realize I said Joe's Cervical Joe's, Cancer yeah. Trust. We just mentioned a no, Crab no, Shack. Like that's his, that's like his cancer. You have Joe's Crab Shack and Joe's Cervical Cancer Trust, both the same chain. <laughs> now, now, it's Joe, just J-O. 
Oh, J- J-O. Not J-O-E. If it was J-O-E, I would go. But it's also a UK thing. I think the UK would be like, oh, it's coming out of your bonus hole. You know, I think it's like. You've got some true. cancer in your, your bonus, bonus hole. hole. Using the correct like language it. when referring to someone's gender identity no, is, is a simple and effective way to demonstrate support and recognition, according to the this according even, to Joe's cervical cancer. This job. doesn't even make sense. What is a bonus hole? Yeah, I feel like that's if you have like an anal fistula or something. That's a bonus hole. That's a bonus hole. Yeah, a I, nostril's a bonus hole. I mean, if we're comparing, <laughs> if it you're to, brave, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we're comparing it to male genitalia, I guess it is a bonus hole i mean but then you guys kind of have a bonus hole too no th- <laughs> the vagina is the hole we all come from the hole i think it's yeah. dif- differentiating it your- from the pee hole is it different no yes. your pee hole is not Thank you. you don't babies don't come out your piss hole yeah, yeah. the ladies have a pee hole allegedly. and then they have allegedly. a bonus <laughs> hole allegedly <laughs> allegedly it's like the loch ness monster i've yeah. never seen one i feel like no there's the hole. The bonus hole is your butthole, but then you're making it sexual. Bon- I feel like your bonus hole is like your mouth. I feel like a bonus hole is just something that you only visit once or three times a year. The word bonus so is be, off. For you, bonus, you know? The bonus is throwing me off. Yeah, because it's extra. Bonus means more. Your vagina is the hole. It's That's the, the main hole. hole. The it's the hole of it, all holes. The more you say it, it just sounds like bonus. Boner hole. Maybe that's Bone why. They, oh my god! Some asshole at the fucking Joe's cervical cancer test <laughs> goes, get this one. I'm gonna call it the bone us hole. Bone us hole, and everyone's like, these LGBT people. Well, I don't really get. Oh, bone us. A bone ah. us hole. <laughs> that makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> it really does. There's no inclusivity in that Mm-mm. whatsoever. It's just yeah, because then you don't get one. I, yeah, where, where's my? I want a bonus hole. Punch That's my what card. I'm saying. Well, it is very like Maybe male candy. oriented to me because I would consider like the hole you pee out of is your one hole, the hole you poop out of is your two hole, and then the women they got that bonus hole. So that's the way it makes me. I don't know why I made them all southern, and, but that's or, what it kind of makes. That's where my head went. Wait a minute. <laughs> is this like a? <laughs> mm, I'm fuming. Because now is this a... Pee-pee holes one. Trans, like trans woman who was a male who is now transitioned into a woman and oh. they're calling it a bonus hole. Is that can what you we're get, missing? Can it you is. get cancer as... Is that what... No. Wait, you, you can get, get cancer can- in your fake vagina? Well, you get cancer anywhere on your body. I guess, but there's not like skin I, cancer. I, I'll say this is, well, this is what they came back. Uh, women are made audience got, If you got breast Joe's. implants, you could probably still get breast cancer. However, some different. trans men and or non-binary people have uh, cervixes, and to reduce as many cervical cancers as possible, it's important that we use all provided information mm-hmm. for the group and the health professionals who support Here's, them. No, 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 no. If you were a trans... <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you were a trans person, you were going to call it your vagina. Or you're, you're not going to be like, that's my bonus hole. No, you <laughs> clearly... The doctor says I have cancer. You've, oh, in your vagina? You've no, clearly I don't. transitioned to have this part of your body. You're not going to yeah. just call it your old didgeridoo or whatever. <laughs> you know, this isn't my old sinkhole, you know. <laughs> God. <laughs> this isn't my acme manhole. <laughs> this is this is It does sound like a doctor is just still talking about it behind their back. They're like, "Uh ma'am, <laughs> ma'am, you have cancer in your vagina yeah and then they go it's in his bonus hole oh <laughs> fair know? enough i don't know maybe. My, i'm sorry I, I didn't mean to be so non-inclusive maybe yeah i don't that's that what makes I, that's no what it sense sounds whatsoever. like to me it's just so funny oh, bonus hole Lord. if like if you were a patient and what if you were a patient and they misidentified your bonus hole oh it was in your bonus hole no you mean my vagina You're yeah like, oh a, i'm sorry i i, I misunderstood <laughs> that's a great class action suit be like the doctor wrongly diagnosed <laughs> my bonus goodness. hole to have cancer. And everyone's like, "What?" It the sounds fuck are you so stupid. About? It sounds like it sounds like a whack a mole game or something. So true. Can't uh, abide such idiocy any longer. No longer. <laughs> oh boy, what a place to end with. The yeah, bonus. the super bonus hole. Justin, tell everyone where they can find you once again. Find me on Instagram at Justin Martindale. <laughs> uh, yeah, follow me on Threads. Threads. I'll be at Cobb's Comedy Club, July nineteenth, Montreal, Canada, for the Just for Last Festival, July twenty fifth, and the Irvine Improv in California, first week in August. 
Oh boy, love having you here. Thank you, you so much too. for coming in. Anytime. And uh, folks, keep subscribing, keep liking, rating, reviewing, all of the things, no matter how you consume the podcast. And make sure you send in your reportings to joshpottershow at gmail.com. Or you can just ask me fun questions like um, our gentleman from Chicago. What was his name? Oh, boy. Julian? Julian from Chicago did. Yes, thank you. Also, you can send in music. Thank you to Griff Parker for this jam right here. Also, at Josh underscore Potter on Instagram and now threads, I suppose. Uh, but there you can find links to all the shows coming up in the many, many months down the road. So thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next week right here on The Josh Potter Show. Oh, 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 oh